Just gonna stretch this one a little. Sha isa because salt kills the yeast, okay? How to prevent over needed dose and dip it in. So unsay mo yung kaingon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and for today's video, I will be showing you how to make Korean cream cheese garlic buns. This trending buns, guys, is usually sliced in six sides, but you don't cut it through. It's filled with cream cheese and it's dipped in garlic butter sauce. So imagine, guys, cream cheese, garlic butter, and bread. Ako, guys, I do love breads. But the irony is that it is also one of the least that I would really want to bake. It's because it would take a lot of time and effort in baking it. You need to proof it and all. One thing day guys na I'm also afraid before is over needed dose. So di ba effort na kayo ka o masa masa and then you suddenly end up realizing that you've over needed the dough which makes the whole process palpa. Today guys, I will show you a method on how to prevent over needed dough. So if you've heard of autolyze method or autolization, so that is the method that we will be doing right now. If you're new to this channel guys, all the measurements of the ingredients, again, I will put it in the description box below. So just go ahead and check it. Start with guys, we'll just get a tablespoon of water from our ready half cup of water okay and transfer it to another bowl and set this one aside together with our salt our butter and our yeast and then we're just gonna put all our wet ingredients here in our bowl okay so our water and our milk and then one egg and then we'll just whisk everything up until it's all combined and then we'll put in our dry ingredients for dry ingredients guys in here we have our all-purpose flour you can also use bread flour if you have and then our sugar and our powdered milk okay so we'll just put it in okay. just mix everything until it's all combined when it starts to um, form into a dough this this gets a little sticky guys so we're just gonna combine everything in okay so when all of it is combined guys we will just um cover this one with a clean wrap and leave it for around 20 to 30 minutes so this is the autolyzed method guys and it was discovered by french bakers and they found out guys having that powerful pause or allowing the dose to rest for 20 to 30 minutes which allows the hydration of flour and gluten development so on gluten guys are the protein now they are the ones who form bonds to make your dough stretch. We will just wait for 20 to 30 minutes and we'll see if our dough will stretch later and has passed the window pane test. A few moments later. It's been 20 minutes guys and now we will check if our dough has passed the window pane test. Window pane test guys is when you stretch your dough thinly and it doesn't tear apart. Okay, so let's see. We'll just get a dough. Can we stretch it? It doesn't tear apart so it is called that way guys because just like the window that light passes through it so um dough guys when you stretch it and you see now it's translucent in color and light can pass through it so that's it so now guys this dough we will just transfer this one to our bowl so if you don't have a mixer guys, it's totally fine. You can do this one by hand or medyo sticky siya guys. So I'll just use a mixer, okay? So we need a hook attachment and then we'll just transfer our um, dough in our, in our bowl. And then we will add in the rest of the ingredients. So we'll set this one aside. And the first one na atong put guys is salt, okay? Now guys, we will just turn this one on in low speed and then add in our salt. So when it's combined guys, we will add in our yeast. Okay, so we've separated a tablespoon of water here and then we will add two teaspoons of yeast. So we'll just open this one first. Kai, wala pa siya nagamit guys. So two teaspoons. 
Okay, always remember that guys, so we'll just mix this one up until it's all combined and then we'll pour it in. So just remember always guys na you should not um, mix your salt with your yeast together, okay? Pwede ninyo naho ng yeast and water and then followed by the salt but ayaw siya iisa because salt kills the yeast, okay? When it's gone guys, it becomes sticky na. So we'll go just put this one here and allow it to be mixed so again we'll just turn it on so when it's all mixed up guys the next one is we will add in our butter so our softened butter now guys when it's all incorporated so we've kneaded it for around five minutes and then we'll transfer this one to our oiled surface get a pastry brush and an oil. We'll just oil our bowl na atong butangan. And then, kundi guys, the reason kaganiha why you lahi na to ang butter, it's because inhibits the formation of gluten strand. It's really best na sa ulahi na lang siya. So that's why. And then, we'll just transfer this one. Medyo sticky ang dough guys, but that's totally fine because um, it, you will have that softer um, dough texture. We'll just transfer this one. So we'll just cover this one again with a cling wrap, guys. We'll just use it, the one we used earlier. And then leave this one for again another 20 minutes. 12 seconds later. Now guys, it's been 20 minutes again and we have here our dough. We will just transfer this one to a silicone mat or if you don't have, so just in your table and then we will do the stretch and fold method, okay? So we will um, grease our hands a bit with oil para delicate siya mo stick. So we will get our dough here and then we will just stretch it out then fold it in go and fold so if you have a dough scraper guy you can also use that one to fold after you've stretched and fold guys we can um, just return this dough back to our bowl we'll just cover this one again and wait for another 20 minutes before we portion it out. A few inches later. So again guys, another 20 minutes and we'll get our dose. It has, I think it has risen since ni borot ang yahang um, cling wrap. So we'll just take this one off and then punch it a bit, okay? So, and then get our dough and put it in our mat. Okay, so I'll just get a scraper and just, oops, put it out. Just gonna stretch this one a little. And then fold. And then just gonna measure this one in 150 grams each, okay? So that even lang siya pagka one. So we'll cut and then measure 150 grams. So when it's done guys, we will just flatten this one out each, okay? And then roll this one into a ball, okay? Uh, you need to exert force in your hair or uh, it will um, form into a, a bun, okay? Transfer this one, guys, into your tray. It should have a parchment paper on it. And then we'll just put it there. So all of it, guys. Then, and then put everything in the middle. And then you'll just roll or you'll just form it into a ball. And then put about three inches apart each. Okay, guys, okay. Since mo, we, it will still rise, so basin madikit sila. When it's all done, guys, um, we'll just cover this one with a damp towel. And then we will just let this one 
um, rest for another 20 minutes before we will load it in our oven. Our doughs are resting, guys. We will just make our cream cheese filling. So in it, guys, we will need a room temperature cream cheese. And we got a rubber scraper. And then we'll just um, mix a little. And then, guys, we will add in our sugar. And guys, we will add in uh, one fourth cup of heavy cream. Mix it up again until it's all combined. So if you're done, we'll just set this one aside and we'll make our garlic butter. The dough has been dressed for 20 minutes already, guys. And then we'll just um to the water, guys. And then now we will do the egg wash before loading this one in our oven. Egg wash, guys. I've just mixed one egg and a tablespoon of milk. So you got, you just get a pastry brush and then brush the top. Okay. When it's done, we will just load this one in our oven in 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes, or when it turns golden. While our bread is baking in the oven, guys. We will make our garlic butter sauce. So in it, guys, we have this a bowl, and we'll just get a whisk. And then we will add in our melted butter. So put it in. And then we will put in our egg. And then just whisk it off. And then add also some milk, some honey, two tablespoons of honey. So if you don't have honey, guys, you can also use condensed milk. Whisk. Until it's all combined and then we will add in our garlic you need to mince your garlic guys and then the last one guys the one that I've been waiting for na ship shan and dugay siya naabot it's because they guys the parsley so dugay di siya naabot guys because of the bagyo so we can't do anything about it and just wait so put it in so here's our garlic butter sauce and we'll just set this one aside and wait for our bread to bake. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we're back again guys and now our buns are already baked and it's already cooled down. Um, we will just gonna slice it into six sides. Okay, so we'll get one. We'll just get a serrated knife guys for or a bread knife. Okay, and then we'll just gonna slice it first half. And just don't cut it through, okay? And then on this side, like an X, and on the other side. So this one. And now, guys, we're we'll just gonna fill this one with our um, cream cheese filling. So we'll get a pastry bag or a piping bag, and then we'll just fill it up, okay? So here. And on the other side. When you're done filling your buns, guys, we will dip this one in our garlic butter sauce. And dip it in. Wow. So since we still have extra here, we'll just put it on the top. And then you can, it, this is just optional, guys. You can put breadcrumbs or parmesan cheese on top. Now we're done guys, we're just gonna load this one back in our oven in 180 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. Much, much, much later. And now I'm with my husband, so he's gonna taste the buns also. And the buns are already cooled down, so we'll have our taste test. So we'll get one, and... So, what's on? <laughs> okay, so um, the buns, guys, mm. the bread, humuk dud siya. At least, guys, hindi na siya kailangan inid ni mo ayo. And but the result is the bread is very soft and ang cream cheese ng garlic bread. It's a good combination, so a must try. And thank you for watching this video till the very end. I hope you enjoyed and. See you on my next video.